today we're going to add a cigarette lighter to the car. So to start off with, before I put it in the car, I want to extend the wire because it's a bit short for where I want to put it. So get two extra pieces of wire. I'm going to use the black one and the red one to match with this. And then we're going to connect it. So to connect them, you've got a few options. So you can either solder them or you can use connectors like these. So I'm just going to use connectors like these to make it easier. Plus, if I ever want to take it apart, that way I can. So you're going to need two of those. Then at the end, when we wire it into the car, we're going to use a fuse tap like this. We'll go over that in a minute as well. And then we're going to have a ring connector, which I'll get that out once we work out what bolt we're going to connect it to once we wire in the negative to the car. So start off by stripping back some of the wire. We're going to use some wire strippers. You don't have to use wire strippers if you haven't got any, but it makes it easier. So put your wire into there like that. Just crimp it. And it pulls some away, but have a little bit more. That should be all right. Do the same with the, the other one. Just like that. So we're just going to try and peel these apart slightly. strip a little bit more of these wires as well. So we've stripped some of that back on here as well. Then we're going to add these connectors to them. So I'm going to put one type on one and another type on the other so that way you won't get them mixed up when you're trying to put the other ones together. So I'm going to strip back a little bit more, just so that way we can fold it over. So we've stripped that back a bit more than we needed on purpose so we can fold these over. So that way we've got a bit thicker connection. So put the connector over the top. Make sure it's in there properly. You can see where the wire is. So that it's gone up to there. And then we're going to crimp it. So to crimp it, we're going to use the bottom part of these. You can see here that you've got the different bits. So once you've got that in place, you put it in and then just squeeze it. And now you've got a tough connection that won't come out. And then we're going to do the same for the positive side. We're going to use the opposite end of the connector so that way they won't get confused and you won't accidentally wire them up wrong. So push that in as well. And you can see in there that we've got it up to the height that we want. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Put it in and squeeze it together. either they're both nice and tight so for the other side for the positive we're going to use the opposite end for of this one so obviously that way it will connect in like that so we'll put that in for here this wire is a bit thicker so we're not going to fold it over and then line it up put it to the height that you want it and then the same as what we did with the other ones put it in and then we're going to squeeze it So now you can see that these will go in like that, 
and that's the positive ones. Then we're going to do the same with the negative one, we're going to put it at the opposite end of the terminal. So again, this is a slightly thicker wire, so we're not going to fold it over. Let's see it's come up to where we need it to be. And we're going to put it in and crimp it. in as well nice and tight and then that would connect into there as well so then we've got those connected so we've now we've got a longer wire so we're going to go into the wire tap over here and we're going to connect the positive into here but we're going to strip back some of this wire as well and then that connects in just going to strip back a tiny bit more So to do that, we're just going to do the same as what we did with the other ones. That's it. So same as what we did before. Just going to squeeze it together. nice and tight as well this one on this side it already came with this connector already onto it and you just connect the other side these ones you can't connect and unconnect them but that's all right then on this side where the fuse tap is the top one which we've already got the fuse in is for the new accessory that you're going to put in which in our case is the cigarette lighter and the bottom fuse slot is whatever we're going to tap into on the fuse box so we'll take it out and put it into this one so we're going to strip off a bit of the end here so that way we can get the ring connector on. Um, I'm going to see what I'm going to connect it to first before I decide what size connector I'm going to use. So we're just going to strip back a bit of the wire. Just like that. And now we're going to have to go and work out which fuse we're going to connect it to. So I went out and checked on the car to see what bolt I was going to use and I, I did which bolt and I made sure I matched it with the right size um, connector that I need. So we're going to get that connector and we're just going to put the wire in. So it's the same as before, we're going to put it in the right amount into the connector and then we're just going to crimp it. That's it. It's nice and tight so now this is ready to go onto the car now we've got the cigarette lighter here we've got the connection here that we're going to put to an earthing point on the car and then we've got the positive connection here on the wire tap so we're at the car we've got the bit that's going to go into the fuse box here and then we've got the the side that's going to go to the negative to the ground that's there and then obviously that's the cigarette lighter itself so over here on this particular car is where the fuse box is so we just pull this out like that and that exposes the fuse box so i think on this particular car i'm going to try and wire it up to this fuse here because it's for the existing cigarette lighter and there's space above it I was going to potentially do it to, I can't remember one of these two, but the wire tap wouldn't fit because of this in front of it. So I think this is where I'm going to go to. In a second, we're going to just check it and make sure that it's suitable. Um, just before that, though, the earth, the ground wire that I want to use is just down there. So we're going to remove this bit of trim and this bit of trim so we can get access to the bolt over there to install the negative. So to remove the trim, you can either use a screwdriver or I'm going to use a trim removal tool just so it doesn't leave any marks. And just lift that over on that side. 
and do the same on the edge over here and then use that just to get that out and then just start lifting up and just there's a few clips so we just try to be careful with them but it just pops up Just lift that side out as well. That's it. And that piece is out. Then this piece can come out. And to pull this piece out, just try and get your fingers behind the lip there. And then pull it this way. Like that. So here's the bolt that we want to connect to. It's a 10mm socket. I'm just going to remove it. nicely and we'll go through there as well and then we'll just start doing it back up So once you've done that up, it should be secure. Now you can put the panels back in, but we'll leave it for a second until we finish off the rest of it. So what we're going to use now is a test light. You can use a multimeter or whatever you want. So what we're going to start off by doing is just testing the fuses to see which ones are on permanently and which ones are on by the ignition so connect the one side to an earthing point so we'll do the same point there and then go to where the fuse box is and just test the fuses so as you can see this one's on permanently because we've got no keys in the ignition this the ignition's off so these ones are on permanently And these ones, on this side of the fuse panel, must be switched through the, through the ignition. So to test that, we're going to get the keys. And now the ignition's on, these ones that weren't getting any power before should now be getting power like that, that's it. something this car doesn't have but yeah so these are all getting power now so we know that these ones are through the ignition which is good that's what we want so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this one because this is the one that we're planning to use just get a pair of pliers and pull the fuse out just like that then the next step is so we can work out which direction we're going to fit the fuse, whether it's going to be that way or that way, we need to work out which side the power is coming in from. So get something small and skinny that can fit into there. So we're going to use a little pin and we're going to put it in to the, one of the two holes where the fuse would go into. So just like that. And now again, use the test light and there's no power on this side. So that means that if we put the pin into the other side, and then we test for power, power's coming in through that side. When you have the power on these types of fuses, you want the power to come in through this side so then it can run through. So the fuse here is always gonna be for the new accessory and the fuse above here which is closest to these two tabs is going to be for your existing one 
So we're going to put that in there. In this case, they're both 15 amps, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it. And then we're going to run the wire in through there. And then we're going to connect it in. Just like that. And now in theory, because we've got the ignition on, this cigarette lighter should now be working. So if we get something and we connect it in, that's it. It's working, so you can see it's got power. So that's it. That's the whole job. Now you can cover up the fuse box and you can put all this back. The only thing to do now is hide the wire and you obviously just hide it wherever you want or root it into a location that you're happy with. So we're just putting a few cable ties in. So we've got one here and we've got another one up here. We just need to snip that extra bit off. So we're gonna put this cover back on. So you've got a tab over here that you need to line up with this screw end. And it just goes in like that. Line up the hole. That's it. Make sure this is over where it needs to be. Make sure the hole's lined up. And then you just push it forwards. And that's it. Then you've got this one, which you line up with these three holes and then it'll just clip in to the sides so line it up and then just push it down that's done and then it's just finish off hiding the wire we're going to end up putting it in behind here and I've got it here so it's still accessible that if I want to pull it out I can pull it out but it's where I want to have it at the moment and as I drive around depending on what I decide I can change it but for now that's it we're done if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more